So today we're gonna to make some hot sauce with the Serrano chili peppers. These are rocket fuel, nine times spicier on average than a jalapeno. So use them sparingly. Wear some gloves because you do not wanna to touch anything afterwards that you wanna be friends with. So we're gonna add this and we're gonna make it sweeter by adding some of this in there too, lovely pineapple. So let's get cracking, super easy. We're gonna make a real nice tasty one, so let's go. Okay, so we're going to start with 10 Serrano chilies or 200 grams. Just cut the stems off like this. Wear some gloves if you're not used to handling chilies. This just stops you burning uh, some private areas, let's just say that. Okay, so now cut this in half uh, like this, or you can chop it down the other way if you haven't got the best of knife skills, so just watch your fingers. Next, peel a small onion or 114 grams if you want to be precise. Uh, doesn't need to be perfect the way it's just chopped up, just roughly. Then we're gonna take eight fat cloves of garlic or 35 grams, put that into your bowl. Teaspoon of cumin, and then a teaspoon of fennel seed as well. And then just put about a teaspoon of salt in as well. Okay, now that's your mix, set that aside. Okay, so just roll a lime and set this aside for later. Now we've got 200 milliliters of a rice wine vinegar and 200 milliliters of apple cider vinegar. Put that into your saucepan. Mix this all together with your chilies and chopped up onions, and then put this on the stove to simmer for about 20 minutes. Next, we're gonna cut off 300 grams of pineapple. That looks about 300 grams there. To me, just slice off the top like this. Slice down around like this just to take off the skin, cut that in half, and then just peel off any other little bits like this with your knife. Cut that in half again, and then you're just gonna take out the core just like this. It's a bit fibrous, so you don't really want that in your final sauce. Then we're gonna slice this. Doesn't matter about too much about the thickness. Put it on a tray lined with a bit of foil and then we are gonna chuck this under the grill to give this a bit of color. Now this is an optional step. You could just put this in as is. I like to char it a little bit just to make the sauce a bit more interesting. Okay, after 20 minutes on the stove, your chilies will look like this. Put this all into your blender and get ready to blitz this all up. Depending on the type of blender you have, you will get different results. Vitamixes make everything smooth and glassy. Add in your pineapple, squeeze in all the lime there. There you go, double hand action. And then we're gonna put in an optional step, about 20 grams, half a cup of fresh coriander. Now, don't be a donut like me. Remember to switch your machine on and then let the sauce ride for a minute or two until it is nice and smooth. Depending on the type of blender you have, you're gonna get a different texture in your sauce. Pass this through a fine chinois into a bowl. Be careful, do not let this splash up in your face if you go too far, so just take your time. Scrape down the sides and you can use all the leftover pulp, put it into like scrambled eggs or anything else like that and it will be amazing. Let's taste this beautiful pineapple serrano hot sauce. As always, like, comment and subscribe. Okay, so we're gonna give it a little taste test to see how we go. Yes, boss man. This is good. Tasty, tropical, fruity, real nice flavor. Ooh, give this one a go. If you like heat, you're gonna want this. See you in the next one.